With the growing popularity of Wear Anything videos and the success we've seen using the new IP adapter version 2, I found myself searching for something even more advanced, something that feels real and seamless. I wanted a solution that didn't require complex setups or troubleshooting numerous errors. That's when I discovered IDM VTON, and let me tell you, it was a game changer. This tool is exactly what many of us have been eagerly waiting for. It offers a straightforward web-based interface where you simply input a model and a clothing item, and just like that, you'll see your character wearing that garment. Imagine the ease and the possibilities. However, since IDM Vtion is still a relatively new tool, integrating it with Comfy UI demanded a substantial amount of VRAM, which could be a hurdle. Moreover, operating it on a cloud-based GPU involved numerous steps, was time-consuming, and could become quite costly due to cloud usage fees. But here's the exciting news. I found a method to fully leverage IDM VTON efficiently without any hassle. Additionally, I've developed a special comfy UI workflow that further refines and enhances the output from IDM VTON, pushing your results to the next level. Firstly, let's talk about the system requirements for running IDM VTON. If you have a high-end graphics processing unit, such as an RTX 3090 or better, you're all set to run IDM VTON directly on your computer. This AI tool is accessible on Pinocchio, a platform where you can easily install it with just one click. However, in this tutorial, we'll focus on using the online version of IDM VTON which is available to the public on Hugging Face. This option ensures that everyone, regardless of their hardware, can participate and use this powerful AI tool to digitally try on different clothing items on their characters. So let's dive in and explore how to use IDMVT on online. To start, you'll need to upload an image of your character. Ensure that the image dimensions are set to 768 pixels in width and 1024 pixels in height for optimal results. Next, upload the garment image you want your character to wear. This could be anything, a shirt, tank top, trousers, any piece of clothing. In this area of the tool, you'll need to describe the garment. Specify particulars like whether it has short sleeves, long sleeves, or is sleeveless. You should also mention the type of neckline, whether it's round, v-neck, or another style like a polo. Providing these details helps the AI accurately identify and apply the garment to your character. We'll now enable a feature called Auto Masking. This feature simplistically masks the character in your image automatically. However, later in this tutorial, we will also demonstrate manual masking, which often yields even better results. Now notice how the input garment appears on your character. Sometimes you may see that the print or design doesn't completely cover the garment. This typically happens because the model assumes characteristics from the base image, such as the t-shirt being long and tucked into jean shorts. Let's run another test. This time, we'll use auto masking again, but we'll use a crop top as our garment. You'll see how well the IDM VT on model can work. It automatically identifies the short, crop top style of the garment without us having to specify its length explicitly. Pretty impressive, right? However, there may be some shortcomings. Sometimes the garment might look as if it's been 3D rendered or photoshopped rather than naturally worn by the character. It lacks realism. But we're not stopping here. To enhance the quality, I've developed a specific post-processing workflow using Stable Diffusion Comfy UI, tailored for IDMVT on. Here's what you'll do. First, upload the image that IDMVT on generated, then create a mask around the garment. Make sure also to adjust the settings according to the gender of your character and the type of garment, such as t-shirt or jeans. What comes next is quite technical but exciting. 
We generate a new image-to-image -image transfer with a low-to-noise strength using an IP adapter to refine the appearance of the garment. This step might alter some features and details of the character, so we'll only use the masked area from this new image and overlay it onto our original character image. By doing this, we improve only the appearance of the garment and not the entire image, preserving the original details of your character. By the way, you'll find a comprehensive workflow guide alongside a collection of both male and female models donning various types of clothing. These models have been pre-configured to align with the dimensions required by IDM VT on. Now, let's go into another example. And this time, we aim to go a little deeper. We're going to update our male character's attire, specifically his dress shirt, but with a twist. We'll employ the manual masking technique in this attempt. The goal here is meticulous. We need to precisely select the shirt on our character without accidentally altering the hands or any other parts of the image. This technique ensures that our modification is clean and focused solely on the garment. If the first run don't meet your expectations, don't worry. A useful tip is to adjust the seed number in the Advanced tab. Tweaking this number allows you to regenerate the output. Repeat this process as necessary until the image quality is to your satisfaction. Remember, sometimes perfecting an image takes several tries. When you achieve a satisfactory initial result, it's time to refine it using my workflow. Here's where you can make your output shine. Alter the images and the mask. Tweak the prompt slightly and then initiate the regenerating process. You'll see that the new item not only closely matches our input image, but also boasts a significantly enhanced appearance. This improved look retains the essence of the original while elevating its quality and fit. This approach shows just how potent and flexible IDMVT on can be when you integrate smart editing tactics and make use of the tools available. So, continue experimenting with different settings to master the subtle nuances of creating high-quality virtual clothing. Next, let's work on a long dress. This dress is sleeveless, and it's important to specify this in our prompt to ensure accurate results. During this process, we might encounter a small hiccup where the model misidentifies the dress as a tank top. But don't worry. All we need to do is regenerate the image using different seeds until we achieve the desired outcome. Next, we'll focus on enhancing the image. For this step, we meticulously mask both the garment and any skin areas that have been inaccurately generated by IDM Vtion. By the end of this exercise, you'll see a noticeable improvement, not only in the dress's appearance but also in how naturally it fits on our character's skin, enhancing the overall realism. Moving on, let's tackle styling a sweatshirt using the same method. We'll start with a manual mask for our initial look at the item. Though the sweatshirt will generally look good, you might notice that the sleeves could use a bit more refinement. To fix this, we'll carry the image back into our workflow, employing the usual steps of masking and tweaking the prompt. You'll be impressed by the significantly enhanced outcome, We've covered essential workflows and tips in this tutorial to help you use IDM VT on effectively. For more detailed steps, links, and resources, make sure to check the description box below. I appreciate everyone's support for my work, and I'm committed to optimizing this tool to eventually provide a streamlined workflow that can handle everything from beginning to end seamlessly. 
Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Stay tuned for our next episode where we'll explore more exciting features and updates. Thank you for watching and see you next time.